Happy Halloween from all of us here at Brewmatures to you. Yeah. This is it, it's Halloween, and it's the final beer of our spooky week. We're still in our onesies. We're still drinking good beers. Today we've got Bottle Logic Brewing's Somnophobia. It is another collaboration with Voodoo Brewing Company. If you haven't seen our episode on Deprecophobia yet, please go watch that first because this is the same beer, but just a little, little kick to it. This is a double mashed Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels for two years, finished with Panama Geisha coffee. Oh, wow. The food pairings are Vermont Creamery Bijou, tenderloin and black, with blackberry sauce, and snickerdoodles. Oh, I love snickerdoodles. The darkest notes are, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Oh no. Me, what I've been telling you all day. Oh, I love sleeping. Friends, whenever you can sleep, you should sleep. Go ahead and uh, think about what you're gonna get, like pre-guess the ABV on this while I pull up the notes from Untapped about this beer. This is still, the, okay, so this is the other beer, just, what? With coffee. Where do they put the coffee in? The end, they finish it with coffee. So it's gonna be. Think about it. I'll read the, the summary and then you can tell me. In early 2019, we summoned Pennsylvania's Voodoo Brewing to Anaheim to compare and combine our unique barrel aging techniques. Together, we conjured a double mash imperial style recipe built to withstand the curse of time in 12 extraordinary Heaven Hill bourbon barrels, where it stayed buried alive for two full years. <laughs> Somnophobia is a small batch variant of our Deprecophobia base. Finished through enough coffee to wake the dead. The malevolent mortals at Mostra helps us source and delicately roast a hauntingly delicious blend of Panama Gisha coffee beans from the legendary Finca Lorita Farm. The singular finishing ingredient layers a bold milk chocolate character with whispers of walnut and honeysuckle into the unmistakable flavors of the beer's prominent raisin cookie dough and Tootsie Roll toned base. It is devilishly viscous at blank ABV and richer than crushed velvet in a mahogany coffin. <laughs> so Mary, what do you think the ABV is? Wow, that was such a roller coaster right there. I feel like if you were to like read a kid a book before they went to bed, you'd do all the voices and everything and like you would begin. Oh, yeah, read it, read it right. Um, okay, so let me ask you a, a, a kind of a side question. Did you know, so when you get, when you get coffee, there's dark roast, medium roast, light roast. Did you sure. know that the lightest roast has the most caffeine in it? That's not what I would have guessed. Exactly. Is it because when that you burn it more, it burn like the caffeine gets ruined? Yes, not ruined. Well, I mean, but yes, that's it. I'm thinking this. I'm. I don't know. I think this has less ABV. I think this is a less ABV than the other one. Okay. Not a lot less though. The other one was thirteen point six one. I think so. Yeah. I think that this one is in the very high 12s, like 12.87. Okay, well we'll see what you think after we sip on it, but first, it's named Somnophobia. What do you think that means? It is. Somnophobia is an irrational fear of sleep. People may worry throughout the day about not being able to sleep. This worry can cause difficulties with focus or concentration. Often, somnophobia arises from a fear of having nightmares or experiencing sleep paralysis. People who've experienced this trauma may also be more likely to develop, to develop somnophobia. That's so sad. You know what friends, my favorite thing to do is sleep. That is true. I love sleeping. Sleeping is just... There's no words. There is no words. I love naps. Well, there's no words, so that's enough talking. Let's get to drinking. I'm pretty pumped for this, Mary. I don't believe I've had this beer before, but I have been holding on to these bottles. And uh, I mean, I really enjoyed Deprecophobia. You gave it a 4.25, I gave it a five. So let's see what Somnophobia has in store for us. Well, coffee can only do good things. That's true. I think you'll enjoy this a lot more, especially because you're a huge coffee fan. 
I think that's funny that they put coffee in here for somnophobia. Coffee doesn't let you sleep. Yeah, well, and then the, the director's notes was I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that's my worst nightmare. Sleeping when you're dead? Like putting off sleep for so long, saying I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> sleep every day. Once again, very thick beer, uh, very viscous looking. This one ranks in uh, about the same as the other one, but an 8.9 on their scale here. This is so weird smelling. Wow, that smells like coffee to me. It smells like dark coffee. I'm getting almost like a chili kick. Oh, interesting. I kind of smell what you're talking about. It reminds me, like, I don't get it a big time, but there is, like, I could be convinced there's maybe a little chili in there. Because it reminds so me of, like, a leche borracho kind yeah. of smell. Um, interesting. But, yeah, a coffee for sure. 100%, but I don't know. That's so weird. I'm not expecting to taste it. I'm just, like, obviously there's none in here. Yeah, from what I remember, Panama Geisha coffee is supposed to be some of the best coffee in the world. So, I mean, this is nothing but the best of the best of the best right here. And we're talking about, like, I, I don't know how much this bottle was, but remembering it being expensive. All right, let's get to it. Yep, there we go. All coffee all day. Well, sometimes, guys, <laughs> everybody has different taste buds. Hold on. Hold, please. I get a lot of black coffee from this, a lot of dark coffee. A little bit of cream and sugar in there. Very smooth. Um, definitely coats your mouth. Let me ask you a question. Let me answer a question. When's the last time you had a cup of coffee? Like a whole cup of coffee? It's been a while since I've had a whole cup. Ask me the same question. This morning. This morning. I don't think you remember what coffee tastes like. This definitely has coffee in it. This You've never had Panama Geisha coffee this though, I guarantee you that. This has coffee in it. It doesn't have your, you. for some reason you said black coffee with cream and sugar, which is an oxymoron. Black coffee doesn't have cream or sugar. Well, like to me, I get that bitter coffee flavor first. And then as it develops, there's more of like a sweetness to it. So there reminds me of like a cream or a sugar in there. Especially the mouthfeel, it's very silky. So I feel like that's the cream in the coffee giving it that smooth texture. I think that you're gonna be very mad at me when I say this, but this tastes exactly like the other beer. What? That good. That good. No good way. Yes, no. It's the same thing. No. They didn't do anything with no. this beer. No, this has coffee in it for sure. Huge coffee notes. If you're saying that, I will not let you have any more of this beer. <laughs> this is just wasted on you. I thought you would love this for sure. This is big coffee. Let me let me chew it. Maybe it just needs to like heat up a little bit. And I'm scared. It's Halloween. It. I'm scared. <laughs> you're scaring me. Hold, please. Are you a skinwalker? <laughs> Stop. I'm trying to drink beer. It's time for the big. Chew. Yes, I get coffee now. No, you don't. Be real. <laughs> I get coffee at the very, very, very end, but it does taste a lot like their base beer, if you will. Well, I mean, it's supposed to. It's just they filtered the coffee through it. But it's not as coffee forward as other coffee stuff that we've had. It's so wild to me, and I don't know what it is with our taste buds, but I definitely get big coffee in here. Yeah, I just get like a solid hint at the very end, which makes sense if they just took that other beer. I feel like that means our ratings are going to be like complete opposites. No, because I. Do rate beer on the label and what it promises, but if I like it enough, I'm it pretty high. It makes sense. But I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I don't know why I'm not getting as much coffee as you are 
maybe I'm just, I've gotten used to the taste because I drink coffee every day. That was gonna be day. my thing, is you drink coffee every day yeah. and I don't drink coffee anymore. Mm -hmm. So when I do taste coffee, to maybe I pick up on that a bit more. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. Maybe as it gets warmer, the coffee will come It could, out? it I could, know. I mean, these are all beers we've had in the fridge. We're not sitting here waiting for it to warm up, friends. He's too tired. No, I'm scared of sleep. I'm not sleeping. Freddy's gonna get me. But before we rate the beer, Mary, alcohol percentage. You're sticking with 12.8 something? 7. 12.87? That's so weird. Okay, these are all very good stuff. I didn't rate them lower than a four. None of them tastes like alcohol. I think that obviously I know that I'm drinking beer. And if someone were to give this to me, yes, I could taste alcohol, but nothing like a 12 or a 13 or anything like that. I think this one for me is the least alcohol tasting of them all. Yes, I agree with that 100%. But none of them did taste like alcohol to me. Which is, I feel like... I mean, that's good, yeah. The mark I, of a good beer. I yeah. think the first two, Arcane Rituals, Dark Rituals, definitely had the most alcohol flavor to me. Not in a bad way, but I could just really tell it was there. Whereas these two stouts, uh, less and less so. Yeah. I think that I'll stick with the 12.85 to 12.88. All right, well, I it, is, ranges now. it is a 13% beer. <sighs> My word. So you're right, it is lower, but not yes. quite into the 12s. Once again, like I said earlier, this is a collaboration with Voodoo Brewing and Moster Coffee. Uh, both we've technically had on the channel Voodoo Brewing from last video. Moster Coffee, a lot of people use Moster Coffee. These taste like there's some good beans in here. I really like this beer. I think I like it more than the Precophobia. And I think I like it more than every other beer we've had this week. Um, I'm gonna give this a five, but with a little star next to it because this is the best one that we've had all week. If you could give it a six, you would give it a six. Oh, more, go than that far. more More than, than a five. five? I'd probably give it more than a five for sure. Um, I oddly don't think that this was the best beer we had this week. I really, 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 really like it though. For some reason, I like those sweeter barley wines more, even though I kept saying but I'm not did. a sweet person, I'm not a sweet person. It's just these two, these phobias really tasted really good. It's just so con my brain is so confused because there's flavors that I don't understand. But it's good, but I don't I don't know. I think I I I'd give this a 4.5. Okay. More than what is it called? Deca decaphobia. Decaphobia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, is, this is good. It's It does taste very subtly different, especially at the end with the coffee for me. That is so wild. I still can't believe that you don't get the big coffee flavor in this. But that just goes to show you everybody that a beer is going to taste different to two different people. And I mean, honestly, the only way you can really tell if you're going to like it is if you taste it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this week. We had a lot of fun filming these. Uh, we filmed them all in one day, so here we are at the end of this four style day. Uh, we're here! We're still coherent. <laughs> you know, magic of editing. We're still coherent. Uh, like, share, subscribe, it helps us out a lot. And uh, we're ending fall at this point, basically. By the time this comes out, we'll probably have a lot more of the pumpkin stuff ready, Oktoberfest stuff ready. So if you have anything you want to suggest for, I'm going to say winter, December beers, let us know down in the comments below. Anything that's Christmas themed, Monica themed beers, anything. Let us know. We're going to review them. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, ring the dead bell. And until next time, we're the Brewmaters trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip at a time. time.